Welcome back, Pouring Nation. Today, for Try It Tuesday, I'm going to review the Montmartre acrylic paint for use in acrylic paint pouring. Now, when I initially was trying to get this paint, I couldn't find the Signature, which is more the student level acrylics. And one of my viewers, uh, Cynthia, actually sent me this kit of the Dimension acrylic. Now, this, this is the more professional acrylic brand for them. And because of that, it's more expensive, but also it's more pigmented and it gives a lot more information like light fastness about the paint. These paints do give you your pigment and your opacity, but they don't say anywhere how the light fastness is. So I'm assuming that the light fastness of these paints are level three or level four on the ASTM rating, which I'll link in the description below. And again, thank you, Cynthia, for sending me these. I, I'm mostly going to review these, but I am gonna show you the difference in pigment load with these, just so you can get an idea. Um, these paints I purchased on Amazon in a kit that was uh, 12, 12 pieces at um, 17 ounces a piece, so that turned out to be about 28 cents an ounce. One of the problems I found is I can't purchase individual pieces or colors of paint. There are some art supply stores in the United States that do sell it, but around here, at least in Salt Lake, I can't buy them and I can't buy them online. So the massive pack is the only option. And that really doesn't work for me because I like to use certain colors and probably half the colors in a pack this big, I wouldn't use as often as the rest, you know, like the brown, browns and yellows, I wouldn't use near as much as I would the other colors. So for me, that's a negative, at least in the US. If you're in, I believe Canada has it more, uh, obviously Australia is gonna have it more. So that's just a negative, at least for me, for uh, uh, us in the US. Now, you can buy this on Amazon, Walmart. Like I say, some local art suppliers have it. They just don't have it around here. Um, now, some of the artists that use this, uh, artists that I follow are Jilly Cube and Pouring Your Heart Out. Both of them have amazing channels, which you should go watch. And they make some amazing art with this Montmartre acrylic paint. So as I like to do with these set, these reviews, I'm going to uh, mix some purple and some orange with the paints just to see how well this works. And these are pretty creamy consistency. I would, I would say they're in the middle of the consistency, maybe a little bit on the lighter end. But as you can see there, that mixed quite well. It actually mixed very quickly. Let's try the blue and the red. I was not expecting the red to be more powerful than the blue. That's usually not the case. All of these show as semi-transparent and it does seem like they are not as vivid as some of the other colors that I've dealt with. I wonder, put a little white in this. I just want to get an idea of how Yeah, it just doesn't jump out at me. The colors don't, which leads me to believe that the pigment load on this isn't isn't the the greatest. So now what I want to do in comparison is just try these dimensional the dimension brand just to show the difference here so this is the permanent red and lemon yellow And granted, I'm not using the exact same colors, but just the color depth, how vivid they are. These, one, these ones are way, 
way more vivid, which we'd kind of expect with the, the more professional level acrylic paints. So let's go on to uh, mixing them with different mediums and see how well they work there. All right, so we're mixing 10 grams of Liquitex pouring medium, glue, and Floetrol to five grams of paint. That's what these three are. This is 50 grams of Floetrol to five grams of paint so we can see how the color holds up or how pigmented the color is. And then because I have the dimension acrylics, I'm doing the same thing with this one, but with five grams of the dimension acrylic and then 50 grams of Floetrol. So as you'd expect, it really mixes really well with the Liquitex pouring medium, being a professional pouring medium. I will say that the paint um, is thinner than some of the other ones that I've done before, so it's not as thick, and so it's not going to thicken up your pouring medium as much. But that actually looks really good. Next with the glue. That mixed up really well also. And unlike the, the, some of the other paints that I've done, those colors look almost the same. Even though the glue has a little bit of white, it really didn't diminish the color very much. And the Floetrol, same thing. That mixed really well, really quickly. So, so far the mixing has been great on these paints. And then this is the 50 grams of pouring medium or Floetrol and five grams of the signature acrylic, which is this one right here. And this is really gonna tell us how, how pigmented this paint is. And just looking at it right now, look, the color isn't, it's a little bit less, but it's not near as much as some of the ones I've done before. That actually looks quite, quite good. And then this is the dimension acrylic. Same thing, five grams to 50 grams. takes a little bit longer to integrate this just because the paint is so much thicker. But you can already tell that this has way more pigment than, than this had just because of how much darker it already looks. That's one of the reasons why I don't use, because we're using so much paint, um, financially it doesn't make sense to use some of these unless you're getting the uh, specific color that you want, especially the bright colors that are hard to mix yourself. But that looks really, really good at a, what is that, 10, 10 to one ratio? That's still looking really good. The more I look at this, the more orange this looks than red, just because of how it lightened up. So. It mixes well, pigment load is gonna be pretty average for a student level acrylic. It's not the best, it's not the worst, but you know, it's not as bad as craft paint. If I did this with craft paint, this would be way, way lighter than it is. And that's what you get with a student level acrylic. So now let's do a painting. All right, to test this, we're going to use a dark blue, white, purple, and red. The the purple is just the red and the blue together. This blue has a tiny bit of black in it just to deepen it up. And then this is my five ounce cup, which we're going to make our straight pour from. And I think I want the first color to be purple. Now, if this has been helpful to you, please hit the like button. It does help this video get distributed to others that might be interested in the Montmartre paint and using it for acrylic pouring. This is an eight by 10 canvas, so 
80 square inches plus the sides, another 18, 98 square inches. Divide that by 25, that says we need about four ounces of paint, which is about how much I'm gonna have here. Also, when you're layering paint like this, generally you can see which paint is thicker based on which of the lines it creates is smaller. So I can see the white is, and not, not thicker, denser. The white is the most dense because the line is the smallest. That means the paint is getting in and then it's dropping through the other paints causing that line to get very thin. The wider lines are gonna be paints that are not as, not as dense. Uh, and of course, that's assuming that you put in the same amount of paint every time. In the case of the blue, I put a ton less paint because I didn't have as much. But just a ninja tip for those of you doing pouring. And just like with my other tests, I'm going to be doing a straight pour. Let's tilt this out. All right, so the colors actually held up quite well. I really like the, the red over the darker colors here and the lines and striations that it makes. The white, not very good quality. That is kind of the case for most uh, student level acrylics. It really breaks up. It doesn't hold its color or lack of color, depending on how you want to call that. But man, I really like these dark and light. I'm surprised at how well the red held up in that. So I can totally see why um, Jilly Cube and Pouring Your Heart Out, why they like to use this paint. One, um, when I bought it in the big thing, it's relatively cheap. But it actually, other than the white, and maybe with the white you just need to add, you know, 50% white, 50% um, pouring medium instead of one part paint, two parts pouring medium that'll help it uh, maintain its color there. I'm very interested to see how this dries. So that being the case, just to review how the paints mixes, I'm gonna give that a big thumbs up. How the paint mixes with medium, also a thumbs up. It looked good there. Pigment load, it's gonna be a thumb to the side there. It's not the greatest, it's not the worst, it just is. Cost, for the bulk pack, it's a thumbs up, but not being able to buy it in the individual colors for me is a thumbs down, at least in the US. If you can get it where you're at, great, but not being able to buy my own individual colors, that's a uh, negative for me. Light fastness is a thumbs down or a thumbs to the side. It doesn't show it anywhere. I emailed the company to see if they could give me the light fastness for the um, acrylic paints and they couldn't. One thing I did go off of is on the dimensional. The light fastness is three and two stars. Now, I don't know if, I'm assuming three stars is the best and two stars is um, like this orange has two stars is, is 
a step down. That being the case, I usually go two step downs for student level acrylic. So this, like I say, would be light fastness three or four on the STM rating where these ones would be one and two. That's, that's my guess on how this works. I will update in the comments below if I get a response from Montmartre on my inquiry about that. So again, it's not gonna last centuries, but it will last decades uh, as long as you're not getting direct sunlight all day, every day. Color selection on their website, they have a bunch of colors. I can't buy them. So I'm gonna do thumbs to the side here for, for uh, color selection since I can only buy this kit in the US. And then websites that have it, again, thumbs to the side because we can't get it very easily in, in the United States. Hopefully that changes soon and the pricing of the individual packages is less than or equal to some of the other student level acrylics.